Good afternoon. I'm Dan Cummings. We are following breaking news this noon hour. Three more people arrested in connection with last Saturday's double homicide at the Chili's restaurant along Erie Boulevard east in DeWitt. News Channel 9's Jennifer Sanders is live right now outside the courthouse in downtown Syracuse where two of these suspects were arraigned just a short time ago. Jennifer, tell us what roles police say they played in this horrific crime. Dan, News Channel 9 learning of those three arrests this morning. Now, two of those suspects were actually arraigned here in court just a few hours ago. Two of them pleaded not guilty to the charges that they've been charged with. Now, we'll start with 47-year-old Ronald Green. Police say that he was a getaway driver after Saturday's deadly shootings. Green is accused of driving William Wood Jr. to Fulton after police say Wood shot and killed Chris Hicks and Steve Goodnecht and then robbed the restaurant of hundreds of dollars. Green is charged with two counts of second degree murder and endangering the welfare of a child because his two year old was actually in the car at the time. Now also charged in this 53 year old Tracy Brown of Syracuse. Police say she provided the gun used in the murders all in exchange for money from the robbery. She's also charged with two counts of second degree murder. Her son 30 year old Ryan Brown is charged with hindering prosecution. Investigators tell us that he was in the car with Green and Wood as they traveled to Fulton after the crimes. He's also charged with criminal possession of a controlled substance for having eight bundles of heroin with him at the time of his arrest. Rest. His bail is set at $50,000. Now, Ronald Green, he is being held at the Justice Center without bail. And Tracy Brown, again, she is expected to be arraigned later on today. We'll certainly have the latest on News Channel 9, first at 4. For now, we're live at the Syracuse City Courthouse. Jennifer Sanders, News Channel 9. Jennifer, thank you. Two others, two other employees were inside that Chili's restaurant Saturday night. They survived. Onondaga County DA Bill Fitzpatrick says Wood planned to kill all of them, but his gun apparently jammed. Well, the human